Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, the channel. I'm Matt. Uh, we're going to be doing another Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, Pilot Edge cat rating today. And uh, I'm starting us off on the Flight Simulator load screen just because I wanted you to get some of these uh, camera angle views at the Seasons and Trees modification that I, uh, that I added. It's a uh, $20 payware modification. Uh, I'll, I'll link below. I talked about it in my last video, but in my last video uh, I was flying in the New England area, so the trees there aren't quite so exotic as what you see here. So uh, I think it's pretty cool based on what I'm seeing now. It, w it was really tough to, to give a true review in the last one. Um, but here you got palm trees, you got different color trees, flowers here, palm trees, all different heights, you got colored trees out on the horizon there. I just, I'm, uh, being, being on the ground here in California, uh, it's a lot easier to see what this uh, modification does for you. So, so far it looks awesome, uh, very happy with it. So let's, uh, let's get into the video then. i jump out of the aircraft here. So the plan for today, like I said, we're going to be doing a uh, Pilot Edge cat rating. So I, I'm logged in here on the Pilot Edge network. We're going to be doing the Cat 7. That's a class delta to class delta with a class C transition. Uh, we're going to be flying from San Bernardino to El Monte. And I'm kind of taking you guys with me for the flight planning process. So hopefully you don't mind that. It'll definitely make the video a little bit longer but uh, I figured I'm gonna be going through it I might as well take take you on the journey no uh, I'm no pro with sky vector so figuring it out as we go okay so uh, let's kinda talk through the uh, the description of the rating here and also I wanna pull up my File of flight plan. You can pull up ATIS as well. Okay, so we're going to be VFR. We're 4523 November. We're a 172. We have a GPS, so we're a slant golf. We're going to be cruising at probably 120. Departing from San Bernardino. Say SBD. And arriving at EMT. El Monte. Uh, we're going to be heading westbound, so we'll say uh, even altitude of 4,000, and then since we're VFR, we'll add 500. We're not going to use an alternate. We're not going to include a route of flight. No remarks. We're not using custom weather, and we are doing a pilot edge rating. We're doing the CAT 7. So let's file that. Successful. So we want to see... A S E D K E M T. I wonder. Doesn't let you type into it once, I guess. It didn't like that. Maybe it doesn't like three letters. There it is. Okay, winds you know, from the east. 14 gusting to 20, so it's windy today. That'll make for an exciting flight. 10 statute miles clear. This is temp and dew point. 3005. They're using runway 6. Okay, and then we're not going very far, so I'm not going to get the... Well, let's do it. EMT. So at our destination, winds are from the south at 5, so the winds are going to die down for ta for landing. 10 statue miles clear, temp and dew point 3002, runway 19. Okay. 
So we know we're going to be landing to the south. So that's that's helpful information to have. So uh, we said winds are from the east on takeoff. So we're going to be taking off this direction. Uh, we're going to circle to the north. That'll help keep us clear of the Charlie for a longer period of time. It'll also keep us clear of this, keep us clear of an airport down here. So it's just, I think, the better uh, better choice altogether. So we'll circle to the north. Uh, we're we're going to be crossing through and getting a transition through here, but we can't enter the Class C until we have radio communications with Ontario Tower or Ontario or SoCal Approach. So we're going to be tuning up SoCal Approach on 121.7. We need to make sure if we're entering this area inside this magenta line, we're staying below 2,700 or above 5,000, uh, which we will stay below if anything. Uh, there's no other ba significant hazards in here. Tower up here, tower down here. Uh, there is a tower here on departure, but I would think we're circling well clear of it. So we'll stay below 2,700 until we get cleared. Once we're cleared, we'll start climbing, and we can enter the Class C. Uh, and then we absolutely cannot enter here unless we get our clearance or unless we decide we're going to climb above 5,000. But All right, so... Uh, we're going to be talking to SoCal Approach all through here. Once we're on the backside here, so there's an airport here to keep in mind, just kind of looking at our route of flight and seeing what, what we need to pay attention to. So there's an airport here. Uh, there are class Echo, so assuming we're up with SoCal Approach, they'll keep us clear of anything they see on radar. And then we'll cross this class D, which goes up to 2700. If we're cruising across here at 4,500, we won't be inside of the D, so technically we don't have to talk to anybody there. And since we're up with SoCal Approach, that'll be our uh, second redundancy of making sure that we're staying safe. So once we're uh, on the backside here, we can start our descent in here. We want to make sure on our descent we're not clipping this class delta at 2,700, so we need to make sure if we're, we're past the line here before we descend below 27. Uh, we know we're going to be landing to the south based on the ATIS information we just got, so that should help us out with this Bravo airspace unless we need to do a go around. We see we have these towers on our, so if we're approaching from this direction, we got to keep these towers in mind 200 feet above the ground, 230 above the ground. Uh, can't tell if that's can't tell if 697 is that tower. I think so, but it doesn't give us a height above the ground. This is 734. I'm just going to assume this is a couple hundred feet as well. Um, and then we'll just talk about this Bravo since it's there. We should be aware of it. So assuming we do need to land to the north or assuming we are landing to the south, but we need to go around for whatever reason, uh, this area of the Bravo out here, starts at 7,000 feet, so as long as we're below 7,000, we can be in here. This section in here starts at 4,000, so if we're anywhere in here, as long as we're below 4,000 feet, we are not in the Bravo. And then in here, just this very tip out here, if we do need to be out here for whatever reason, as long as we stay below 2,500 feet, we're not uh, in the Bravo. So I think we're done with weather. We already filed that, so we're done with it. Okay, so the objectives, review radio communications departing class D, review VFR navigation. I guess we didn't talk about how we're going to navigate this. Looking to see if there, oh. So there's a VOR here we can use. See if there's one closer to here. just this one. So maybe we'll use SoCal's VOR here. So we'll we'll be navigating pretty much directly to it until we cross SoCal and then we'll be navigating pretty much directly away from it. So uh, we'll be primarily VFR and navigate, we will be VFR so we're fine to navigate via GPS. I'm comfortable doing that but for backup we'll have the VOR in there just as redundancy. 
Uh, so we're learning the class C transition and we're understanding that flight following can't always be provided from the ground. So apparently San Bernardino doesn't have the ability to uh, track us on radar from the ground. We will make sure that we inform San Bernardino that it's for the Cat 7. We're not getting flight following until we're in the air. Actually, we're technically we're not getting flight following at all. We're just requesting a class C transition. So airspace review, it talks uh, about some of the uh, airspace stuff that we just mentioned, some of the altitude restrictions, special considerations for the flight, uh, yeah, more stuff that we just talked about. So it gives us a communications review. It tells us we can't enter the Class C until we have positive two-way communication. Uh, it tells us we're not necessarily going to get it cleared through the Class C as long as they're talking to us and as long as they don't tell us not to enter the airspace, we're cleared. And then here's the transcript. So uh, we know that this transcript, you know, things are, we're doing it live. So uh, we can't necessarily just follow this transcript to the T. So we'll use it as a reference and that's it. All right. Other than that, I think we're good. So I'm going to connect our uh, moving map so that you can see that. That way you can follow along in route. I think we're getting to the point where I can turn the simulator volume back up. Give some background noise so you don't have to listen to me breathing. You should see the should see the moving map popping up here. There it is. Okay, so it has us on the ground at Cern San Bernardino. Let's create our flight plan. We're going to go in the flight plan section. We'll delete what we have in there now. And we're going to add okay, SBD. And we're going to add EMT. We're going to activate it. Go take a look at the map. It does have us flying out to the west. Now that bearing. Bearing next. That doesn't look right. So what if I do which next? No GPS. Why? Close that and we'll start it up again. Listen. Okay. Bearing next, 257. That looks more like it. I made the mess. I made that mistake last time I went for a flight. Uh, it had the bearings. It was pointing to pretty much the location we were at, so it wasn't an accurate bearing, and I made my uh, request to take off in that direction, and it was completely wrong. So we're doing our dummy check here. We're making sure that the line, the flight path, matches our bearing next. So, yes, we are going to be requesting a takeoff with a departure to the west and 257. Now, uh, San Bernardino, I'm, before I do anything, I'm going to pull that up. So there we are sitting on the ramp. We're expecting to take off to the east. So that'll be runway six. So I'm gonna tune runway six. In on our uh, heading. Okay, now let's jump into the cockpit. I think we're good to go. Uh, we're going to launch the pilotage network. So launching the client. 
we're going to connect to the network. We're 4523 November. Connect. So we are connected. We're logged in. And then when we uh, take off and we want to start squawking with our transponder, just as a Microsoft Flight Simulatorism, it hasn't been integrated in the sim yet, we'll make sure we're doing our mode C here instead of in the cockpit. And then if we're asked to ident also, we're going to have to do that here, not in the cockpit. So, All right, I think we're good to hop into the aircraft. Uh, I think we're going to skip the checklist again today and we'll wing it. We've been doing that quite a bit recently. So let's take this fuel shutoff valve and we'll open that up. We're going to uh, go full rich on the mixture. We're going to crack the throttle. Uh, our beacon is on. We'll take our masters on. We'll take our avionics on. And before we do anything, we're going to pop these panels out. Right click Alt. Bring those over here and we'll start popping them out one by one. Hold down shift and drop it into the fancy zone. This guy. Hold down shift, drop it into the fancy zone. This is our... I'm trying to tell which is which. Zero feet. I think that's our... Uh, GP or uh, autopilot, and then this guy. I should get in the habit of turning the transponder to standby. That way, we see 1200. There we go. Okay, so our panel is in place. This guy is always on top. That's what we want. We'll get that out of the way. We'll get that out of the way. Not that we're going to need to come back inside the cockpit for anything for the rest of the flight because we have a touchscreen instrument panel and an obster, which is pretty awesome. We'll go back to our view, checking out the pine tree or the uh, palm trees. All right, fuel pump's coming on. And the key. Uh, let's make sure our brakes are on. Coming on, yeah. Clear around the aircraft. We're going to blow that guy away. Prop clear. Coming on. Okay, it's a good start. So, uh, and let's go up to a hundred or a thousand RPM. All right, temps and pressures in the green. We have vacuum pressure, and we have a load on our amp meter. Fuel left and right tank. We got half uh, half tanks. Plenty of fuel for the mission. Engine temperature looks good. Fuel flow is low because we just started up. Go through our instruments. Our air, airspeed indicator looks good. Attitude indicator looks good. Altimeter has us at 1,000 feet. What's the airport elevation here? 1,159. So I can probably tune that to 1,159, and that should have us pretty close to the... Uh, Altimeter setting. Okay, and then we can get ATIS. Uh, I guess we can continue with our instrument checks. So RPM looks good. Turn coordinator looks good. Ball's in the center. Our uh, edit or heading indicator matches properly with our compass. Vertical speed reads zero. All right, we're good. So ATIS is 124... 175. So let's get in that that in there. 124. One seven five. Temperature two six. Dew point minus eight. Altimeter three zero zero five. Arrive zero, and zero, departing five. runway six. Visual approaches in use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short in... I'm going to get off of that. Uh, I need to go into my settings here. Uh, not that. I'm 
glad I'm glad we heard the ATIS doing that because that's a uh, indication that we're not set up properly to be on the network. We don't want to be disrupting people. So we'll go into sound. We'll make sure voices are turned all the way down. We'll go into traffic. We'll make sure our traffic is off. I think that's it. Miscellaneous. Yeah, I think it's just sound and traffic. So voices are off. Back. Let's do that one more time. Picture two six, dew point minus eight, altimeter three zero zero five, arriving and departing runway six. Visual approaches in use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Mike. Mike. San Bernardino International Airport. Eight is information, Mike. 1752 Zulu. Wind 020 at 9 or gust 22. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 26. All right, we're good with that. Next, we're going to be talking to is uh, ground on 121.8. Let's see how noisy that is. And then tower on 119.45. One twenty one eight one nineteen four five. And we are connected to the network. But yeah, we just got ATIS, so we know we're connected. So we are parked at the FBO. If we're taking off runway six, we're expecting they're gonna have us taxi via maybe Charlie Alpha or possibly just via Alpha. Uh, we do have runway 6 bugged in our heading. Okay, so once we take off runway 6, we're just going to kind of brief the flight real quick. So we're taking off runway 6 to the east. We said we're turning left. Uh, they're going to switch, so we're going to talk to ground on the way out. We're going to talk to tower. Uh, once we're off the ground, we're talking to tower till we're exiting the, the delta unless we request an early uh, frequency change. And then we're talking to SoCal Approach on 121.0 uh, and we're going to be giving them our location, our altitude uh, we're letting them know it's so we'll start with our cold call and tell them it's a VFR request we'll let them know we're uh, requesting a VFR transition uh, for landing at uh, what's the name of that airport again this is why we do this. We're landing at El Monte. So El Monte has runway 19 and 01. Let's do a quick uh, C slope. El Monte. Actually, let's let's look at San Bernardino as well. So San Bernardino Airport remarks. After general hours, access to fuel permission, prior permission required. Talks about some obstacles. Uh, we're going to skip checking notams. I don't see anything special in there about San Bernardino. So let's do the same for... EMT. Airport remarks attended continuously. Bird activity in vicinity of airport. Uh, on, so there's a lighted water tower one mile west southwest of the airport. Remain over paved channel on climb out to the south and to the north. So we're not climbing out of there. Unless we're doing a go around. So if we do, we have to remain over the paved channel. Noise abatement procedures in effect. 
Uh, it talks about weather remarks. Okay. We're going to call that good and briefed on airport procedures. Let's take a look. So when we do come in and land at Elmont, if we're landing uh, on runway 19, we're going to be, so there's a displaced threshold right here. And we're going to be shooting for Charlie or Delta Taxiway to pull off. And we're going to be heading to transient parking here. So that's the plan. When we get uh, when we get close, we're going to tune up ATIS on 118.75, and then we're going to talk to the tower. So uh, this is a little bit challenging, just in the sense that Microsoft Flight Simulator doesn't have a setup to communicate on two radios or to listen on two radios yet. So we can either do the workaround that Pilot Edge has through their website or um, I'm just going to request that I uh, switch off the frequency and tune ATIS before uh, before talking to tower. Uh, I th it'll only take us 30 seconds to get the ATIS, and I think it's fine to do that. And it's good practice that if we're ever in an aircraft that only has one radio going forward, we're going to want to get ATIS, so it's, it's good practice to do that. Okay. I think that is good for a briefing. Let's switch back here to San Bernardino. Okay, and again, we are on the, we're at the FBO. Uh, we're VFR to the west. And we have Mike. All right, let's uh, we'll call our we'll call our run up good. We're not going to go through the whole run up. So let's uh, call San Bernardino ground. So we have one one or one two one zero eight. That's not going to work for us, is it? One two one. That's why it's so quiet. We had the wrong frequency in there. One, two, one, eight. And now that we have that in there, we can get tower in there as well. One, nineteen, four, five. It is okay. San Bernardino ground, Cessna four, five, two, three, November. Is that the FBO like to taxi for VFR departure to the west with Mike? Four five two three November San Bernardino ground runway six taxi via Charlie Alpha. Runway six via Charlie Alpha, and this is for the Cat Seven. Okay. Santa Maria v Tower, Cherokee 4375, Foxtrot, about uh, six miles north, inbound for landing, full stop. Now let's turn some lights on. Landing light, taxi light, nav, strobes. For 4375, Foxtrot, Santa Maria Tower, enter right down on runway 30, report midfield. Release the parking brake. And right Check our brakes. Brakes work. Runway 30. And we'll start uh, a turn. Foxtrot. And report midfield. Clear that way. Report midfield, 75 Foxtrot. Zero Golf Echo, can I make departure? Approach of departure, Zero Golf Echo, thanks. Runway 900 zero, zero Golf, Mike Van Ice Clarence, cleared to the Long Beach Airport. Adam 3, departure to Adam Victor 394, Seal Beach, direct. Climb via SID, except maintain 4000. Expect 5,000 after one zero minutes. Departure frequency 134.2. Squawk 5666. I guess we're just going to weave through Eight here and find Mike where Pierce, the heck uh, cleared to Charlie is. Long Beach uh, via the Adam 3 See departure. blue taxi lights. Uh, Adam 
uh, Victor 394 Seal Beach, climb via the SID, except maintain uh, 4,000, expect 5,010, departure frequency 134.2 and 5666 on the squawk for November 90. Looks Bill like Bell our Bell taxiway Bell. there. Preserve off mic, read back, correct. Long Beach Tower, Cessna 476, on top of uh, the Seal Beach VOR. Uh, 2,800 inbound, the 26 right with ATIS. For 47865 Long Beach Tower, under left base, runway 26 right, cleared to land. Left base, uh, 26 right, uh, for 86 Papa, uh, and a half, go back. And runway 26 right, cleared to land. Under left base, uh, 26 right, clear to land for 86 Papa. John Wayne Tower, 24 Quebec. Request landing, full stop. For 24 Quebec, John Wayne Tower, runway 20 right, clear to land. 20 right, clear for landing, 24 Quebec. Coming up, crossing Bra or Bravo Taxiway. Let's just take a quick look down the left and the right. Looks good. And our next crossing is going to be Alpha. So oh, I'm going to cut the throttle and start slowing back a little bit. Right, this is Alpha. Coming to the right. Back up to 1,000 RPM. Lindbergh Tower, citation 923, Sierra X-ray at General Aviation, ready to taxi IFR. For 923, Sierra X-ray, Lindbergh Ground. Awesome, Bravo again. Make Hotel sure that Charlie. there's nobody coming down the taxiway. Runway 27 via Hotel Charlie through Sierra X-ray. Mountains are cool. That's the other thing that I did not look at in my flight planning was mountains, so we'll have to pay attention to that. We'll look at it once we're off the ground and in route. Not used to uh, flying in that kind of mountainous terrain, so it catches me by surprise. Being an east coaster. Taxi lights in the middle of the taxiway, no big deal. Just lost our right landing gear there. Okay, we're coming up on runway six here. I think we'll cut the throttle and cruise to a stop. Tower, Cherokee 4375, Foxtrot, right downwind, runway 30, midfield. 475, Foxtrot, Santa Maria Tower, runway 30, clear to land. Runway 30, clear to land, 4375, Foxtrot. Okay, our hold short lines and the uh, runway markings say 6. I'm going to throw the parking brake on. I'll hang out here. Take a quick look around the traffic pattern. I don't see anybody in the pattern, so let's uh, give Tower a call. Uh, so we're going to tune Tower in 121 four, or one, 1945, and we're VFR departure to the west. San Bernardino Tower, Cessna 4523, November, holding short, runway 6, VFR departure to the west. 4523, November, San Bernardino Tower, runway 6, clear for takeoff. Runway 6, clear for takeoff, Cessna 4523, November. Okay, we're clear. Let's uh, switch our map view. Runway 6 is bugged. One last look down the right and left. We look good. So we're coming forward off the park and brake. Lindbergh Tower, Citation 9 or 23, Sierra X-ray, holding short, runway 27, ready for departure. Runway 3, Sierra X-ray, Lindbergh Tower, runway 27, clear for takeoff. Runway 27, clear for takeoff, Citation 3, Sierra X-ray.
All right, we're going to do a quick lights camera action. All of our lights are on camera. We need to make sure our transponder is squawking out. So we'll turn that and we're going to need to do that in uh, the client as well. Load C and action. Take off trim is set flaps, no flaps. Mixture full rich, Lock throttle full forward. Start on to alpha. Fuel pump is on. All right, 2350 on the RPM. Temps pressures in the green. Air speeds alive. Looking to rotate at six zero knots. There's 60. A little bit of back pressure. And we're off. Trim for 70. Let me start us. Pause off of 26 right kilo to taxi on northeast complex. Great six pop taxi via kilo, remain as frequency. Kilo, this frequency for A6 of off. And we're expecting him to turn us on course pretty soon. Although he didn't give us any head heading to fly, so we can turn at our discretion. All right, we're off. Fuel pump's coming off. We'll start our fuel timer. And we'll start our left turn. Coming left. Again, we didn't use any flaps, so we're all clean. South parking, we're going via far San Diego Lundberg, 5,500 feet. Request a flight following in route and be a count 11 attempt. For 7510 LA clearance cleared out of Bravo airspace on departure flight 250 and then make a left cross and departure at the shoreline exit Bravo airspace. Maintain VFR 2,500. Arch frequency 134 point enter, squawk 7012. 7251 Sierra, after takeoff, maintain 250 degree heading. After takeoff, via left turn, crosswind departure at the shoreline. Exit Bravo airspace, maintain 2,500 feet. Departure control 134, decimal niner, squawk on 7012. Sierra. What did they say our altimeter was? 7251 Sierra, back correct. Three zero zero five. So I didn't have that completely correct. Three zero X ray contact. So cut departure. Contact departure. Three zero X ray. So based on our altitude, I'm just going to hold this heading. You can tell on our uh, moving map that that has us uh, staying just to the north of the uh, class Charlie. So I'm going to do that. That'll give us some time once we're out of the delta. As we're just staying north of the, of the uh, Charlie, I'll give them a call, and then once they clear us, we can inch our way back to the uh, back to the south to get back on our line. All right, so we're verifying we're squawking VFR. What can we get in there for our next uh, SoCal approach? Is one twenty one seven? One twenty one. Oops. Three zero zero five. We'll keep that there. SoCal approach is. I'm sorry. One twenty seven zero. So that's in the backup. We got five hundred feet to go for level off. We can start speeding up. And we can probably lean out our mixture here as well.
John Wayne, Ground Walker 542 with India, ready for taxi. We'll go to our cruise throttle setting. 542, John Wayne, Ground Walker 2 left, taxi via Alpha Delta. 2 left, Alpha Delta, Walker 542. Point of interest up there, looks like a closed airport. So we're just going to follow this road right here. That'll make sure we're staying clear of the uh, the Class C. Right, we're at 45. We're ground, Cessna 72510, south ramp signature, taxi for takeoff with information x-ray. We're sent to 510 LA ground runway 25 right. Taxi via Alpha Fox Shot Hold Short Runway 25 left. 25 right, Alpha Fox Shot Hold Short. Right. We're outside of the Delta, so I'm just going to switch over on my own to 12700. Uh, Los Angeles Center, you were, you were supposed to be climbing via the SID, so you should have stopped at 15. Maintain 16000. That's your Sierra X, are you there with top altitude? Right. SoCal approach, Cessna 4523 November, VFR request. Right, 4523 November, SoCal approach, Squawk 7272, identify request. 4523 November 7272 on the squawk. Uh, we'd like to transition the Class C uh, in route for El Monte. Uh, approximately, we're currently seven miles west of San Bernardino at 4,500. Right. 7272. 7272. So we approach the attack of Papa. Switch over here, Y dent. DPW SoCal approach, are you flighting the 090 vector localizer on 27 approach, San Diego, altimeter 3001. Fly heading 090 runway 27 localizer approach and altimeter 3001, Delta Alpha, Delta Alpha. So we do have uh, correction four five two three November radar contact five miles northeast of Ontario Airport, Ontario Altimeter three zero zero three. Three zero zero three four five two three November. Three zero zero three. Alright, that's good enough. Okay. So uh we are cleared. We'll uh kinda round our turn out here. Or straighten ourselves out and get back on course. So we need to shoot for a 254 heading. So I'm going to throw 254 in the heading bug. And we'll fly that. Now I am going to set up the autopilot. Heading mode, vertical speed mode, so that'll hold us right here. 254. We'll verify our compass card still matches off just a little bit. Alright, that should have us pointing right at our destination. It does. We're looking good. Still not quite in the Class C. We got 14 minutes in route to our destination. Aircraft is all cleaned up and uh, mixture is richened or uh, leaned. So we're looking good. Looks like my map dropped out, so let me reconnect that.
All right, we're back. So it looks like we got 25 FPS here. That's with the uh, 5900X and the 3080 and the five monitors. So as, as much as that's not ideal, I'm happy to at least uh, have it above 20 where I think the, f the frame rates... Walker, 542, 2500, climbing 5000 via. Frame rates seem to be pretty smooth. Climb via Citrix that maintain 8000, Walker 542. So I think when we're about 20, maybe 15 from El Monte, we'll off tune to get the ATIS. We'll, we'll request that from approach. We'll just request a momentary off tune to get the ATIS. So what we're looking at with trees here, this is a. Uh, spring mode on uh, I guess I can only look side to side November 160 uniform in North Oceanside request ILS approach from 824 and radar vectors to final approach course 160 uniform uh, contact look out approach 119.6 I have for you 119.6, All right, we're looking good. Level at 4,500. Yeah, so this is a uh, spring season. According to our seasons add-on, so that's why some of the trees, everything's not quite so green as it is in the standard simulator scenery. Got a lot more brown on the ground. Heading zero eight zero. Expect uh, vectors for ILS runway two four one six zero zero uniform. Cable. I don't know what that is. Five miles. Oh, that's a uh, that's this small airport. So we're overflying them at forty. Five forty two contact departure one two seven point four. Twenty seven four, Mark five forty two. Not a huge fan of the engine gas temperature, EGT. It seems like uh doesn't operate very well. Northwest twenty six sixty nine Los Angeles Center Cross Canyon at maintain one one thousand and two five zero nine Spurbank altimeter three zero zero four. I'm slowly tuning back the mixture, trying to see what effect it has. Second departure, Walker 542, 8,000. Walker 542, second departure, climb maintain 1, 7,000. 17,000, Walker 542. Yeah, I don't, I don't think the mixture is modeled very well, because I'm, I'm way back. I'm like at 25% mixture. I think in my last flight. I'm afraid to go too far back and have it cut our engine on us.
So it looks like we're about 15, so I'm going to uh, request that off tune. SoCal Approach, Cessna 4523 November, requesting permission to off tune to pick up the ATIS at El Monte. 23 November, uh, it's approved. 23 November. 542, contact Los Angeles, 133.2. 332, So, we want uh, 11875. 330, contact Los Angeles, 125.27. Don't want to turn. Turn. 0 Golf Mike, Van Nuys, Grand Airway, 3-4 left, XD Alpha Foxtrot. 3-4 left, via Alpha Foxtrot, 9 zero, zero Golf Mike. Sorry, it's going to be 3-4 left, via Alpha, then Romeo. Okay, 1-1-8-7-5. One, one, Alpha, Romeo, 3-4 left, November. 2.97, altimeter three zero zero two. Arriving and departing runway 1-9-er. Visual approaches in use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact that you have information, Romeo. Romeo, 3002. Airport, information, Romeo. 1745, Sumbu. Wind 180 at 5. Visibility 10. Sky condition, clear. Temperature 27. Dew point minus 7. Altimeter 3002. Arriving and departing runway 19. Visual approaches in use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact that you have information, Romeo. <clears throat> one one nine four five. SoCal approach Cessna four five two three November. We're back up at your frequency. One one nine four five. Oh, five two three November San Bernardino Tower. Say again. One one eight. We want to be up. Two five. Uh, SoCal approach Cessna four five two three November. We had off tune to get the ATIS. We're back up your frequency. Aircraft calling is on the San Bernardino Tower frequency. One two. Uh, apologies for that disregard. What happened there? We need to be on 1270. I don't know what happened there. One, two, seven, zero. SoCal approach Cessna 4523 November checking back in. Thank you. 4523 November contact on Monte Carlo 121.2 Squawk VFR. 121.7 Squawk VFR, El Monte Tower. 121.2. Tower frequency is 121.2. Uh, 121.2, correction. Yikes, we're getting ugly here. Squawk VFR. So we got VFR in there. And we want, uh, okay, so we're coming pretty close to their airspace. We're going to want to start a descent. And we want 1212. 1212. We'll start our descent. Take it off the autopilot. El Monte Tower, Cessna 4523 November, uh, approximately 10 to the east inbound for landing uh, with Romeo, out of, descending out of 4500. 4523 November, El Monte Tower, in our left base, Romeo 1 that are clear to land. Clear to land, we'll enter a left base runway 19er, Cessna 4523 November. Left base four one nine.
So 1.9 is to the south. That's what we have in there. We're looking good. We are on an extended left base. We'll continue our descent, making sure we are well. We are out of the bracket delta, so we will continue our descent all the way down to uh, approach altitude. Bravo, Alpha Ace, eight left. Down. All right. Elmont elevation is 300, so pattern altitude is going to be 1300. I think I'm going to pick the speed back up. We'll call this before landing, so uh, mixture's going to go full rich. Fuel pump's coming on. Gas looks good. Undercarriage is fixed. Mixture's rich. Pump is on. Everybody's got their seat belts on. Switches. We got our landing light on. We can take the taxi light off. Nav and strobe's on. All right, our descent looks good. Heading looks good. We're on a left base for 1-9. Next, we're going to be talking to, so right now we're up tower, then we're going to talk to ground on 125-9. One two one two is tower. One twenty five nine is ground. Looking good. All right, we're gonna start our left turn. Oh. Yeah. St. Gabriel Valley. It confused me. Continue that descent. Yeah, nice tower, November 900 golf mics ready to go. 3 4 left from Romeo. Nine zero Gulf November Van Nuys Tower, my three four left there for takeoff. Clip for takeoff three four left nine zero zero Gulf Mike. All right, we're starting our slow. He did tell us we are clear to land. We are on our left base. Slow Some flaps in there. Mark 390 Vegas Tower on way left at Alpha 8. We're going to go full flaps. 8 left, clear for Alpha 8. All right, we're aligned. Airspeed 60. Speed looks good. All right, we're down. I believe we said we wanted to turn off to the left. We do. It looks like we made this first taxiway. All right, we're coming left.
take the fuel pump off. We'll hit the brakes. We'll clear the uh, active. Correction Golf member contact. Correction Zero Golf Mike contact. SoCal departure. Over departure, Zero Golf Mike. And we'll call the tower. Amante Tower, Cessna 4523 November, like to taxi for a refuel. For 43, question number 23 November, taxi to Al for maintenance frequency pass, CAD 7. Via Alpha, we'll remain this freak. Thanks for the pass. 4523 November. All right. So we're going to go to the FBO. Actually, it looks like it's right in front of us. Walker United contact departure. Or departure, Walker United. Looking for fuel. I don't see it, but this is Alpha, so we're coming to the left. Got the aircraft all cleaned up. I guess we could trim for takeoff. And we're looking for the refuel. <laughs> These uh, vehicles on the taxiway are so funny. Funny and frustrating. That's fuel right there. Whether it is or not, we're going to treat it like it is. Actually, that might be it. It's like a fuel truck. I feel like I saw fuel back here. Maybe? Oops. I can't tell. Yeah, it looks like it is. Cool. Found it. All right. We're going to stop right there. Throw the parking brake on. Hop back in the cockpit. Oh, we didn't have our taxi lights on. Okay. All of our lights are coming off. We can take our... Uh, transponder to off. Uh, we can take our avionics off. Fuel pump is off. All right. Mixture coming off. Where's our mouse? All right. Um, master switch is off and the mags are off. And we'll hop out and refuel. So, uh, quick look at the scenery. Palm trees. I didn't, uh, I wasn't paying super attention to the scenery on the way in here. I was paying t too close attention to uh, what we were doing. So, it's a pass. Uh, we'll see you guys next time on the Cat 8. Hopefully, you learn something. Uh, Pilot Edge continues to provide fantastic training value for me, uh, so I, I absolutely recommend it. So thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll see you on the Cat 8. Uh, see ya.